justification of, at this point, you, you should all be really good shooters, right? You shouldn't be here if you can't hit what you want. Uh, really, when we go training rounds, when we're shooting each other, it has a lot more to do with stress. It has to do with, I want loads and loads of stress. I want chaos. I want confusion. I want fear. I want you to feel like, dude, I'm about to just get shot in the crotch. Because <laughs> I don't know what it is about you, Tim. It's like he's seeking missiles. Like you can aim right here and it goes, whoo. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's awesome. I'm alive. <laughs> Feeling alive. Uh, so everyone's going to get shot in the crotch as well. That's just how UTM flies. Uh, so it'll be great fun. Uh, anyway, but that's what the next two days look like. Uh, let's see. Uh, everything that we do is going to be based on OODA Loop. All you cops already know what this is. What's OODA Loop? Very good. It was named after fighter pilot John Boyd, who's known as in, for the Air Force and really military in general of being uh, one of the greatest tacticians ever. He had like standing bets with students because he was also a flight instructor that, okay, if you have a uh, aerial advantage on me, uh, within 60 seconds of, you know, uh, you know, that, that positioning, I'll reverse it and uh, basically uh, have a advantage on you. And he he'd put money on the table. Uh, at the beginning of like kind of their semester type things or whatever, I'm jacking up uh, uh, the uh, particulars. But anyway, it was that nobody ever collected the money. Nobody ever won the bet. He was just amazing in his ability to do that. Uh, ironically, military guys don't know OODA Loop, but cops all know OODA Loop. Uh, but it came out of the Air Force. So um, anyway, OODA Loop. Uh, so Boyd's OODA Loop. Observe, orient, decide, act. Which one did he think was the most important? Yeah, it was, it was to orient. It was, it was to interpret and understand. It was kind of the Sherlock Holmes quality. It was everybody sees. You know, everybody sees what's going on right here. It's an entirely different matter to see and to interpret and understand what's happening so that you can kind of predict the future. You know what's coming because you did well in this. If you understand this, then it allows you to make a good decision. If you misunderstood this, you may make no decision or the wrong decision. So this is really the big piece. Uh, and then the forming of the action. So for instance, just to kind of put flesh on this. Very good. All right, what do you guys observe uh, right now? Yeah, everybody observes. What is your interpretation of this? Threat or no threat? Absolutely no threat. What, what, what makes you uh, think that there's no threat here? Yeah, I mean, my weight is set back. I'm just hanging on. I'm looking up. I'm just kind of lost and uh, no threat at all. How about how about this one? War <laughs> all right, now, uh, what are all the uh, things that you can interpret here? Yeah, like this right here lets you know of, and what does this tell you about their ability as a shooter? And they've probably practiced. If they are rocking appendix and cheating their garment, holy cow, dude, just go ahead and shoot them, right? That <laughs> just shoot them. <laughs> just go ahead and do it. <laughs> if it was a stapler and you were wrong and you go to jail, it was worth the gamble. <laughs> but I mean, bladed stance, dropped chin as natural protection, furrowed brow, eyes cut, threat focused, bladed stance, uh, uh, cheated garment, shoulders rolled forward, weight on the toes, I had like eight different thread indicators strewn together. And so everyone would have seen the same thing. But if you put me in a coffee shop, how many people would have even noticed? Nobody. And if you had noticed and somebody it had any intimidation factor, they just look and immediately make sure that they don't look back to avoid confrontation. Nobody notices. No one's looking. Everyone may see, but nobody really understands and interprets what, what's happening, right? Uh, so to be able to interpret, then form a decision based on what we interpret, and then to form an action, right? This is, this is old stuff to cops. It's old stuff to cops. Um, to civilians, a lot of you guys are getting the first point. Now, I point out this because there's a difficulty when we approach any...